Welcome back everyone. I'm going to show you how to hack your own test server using Kali Linux and Metasploitable 2. And please, don't try this on anyone else's network. This is 100% legal because we're in a lab environment. Let's dive in. Here I have my Metasploitable virtual machine running. It is connected directly to my router because you can see the bridge connection. You can think of this VM as my digital punching bag acting as a vulnerable server on my network. On the other side, I have Kali Linux as my attack machine. Everything you see here is virtual, so it's completely safe and legal. Metasploitable 2 is intentionally vulnerable, which makes it perfect for learning and practicing penetration testing. Here you can see that my VM's IP address is 192.168.1.120. Now the first step is identifying what services are running and which ports are open. To detect open ports, I will run a command in my terminal, nmap-sv-t5. I have to mention that t5 is the most aggressive port scanning and it will probably get you banned from other networks, so use it only on your own network. And after the t5 parameter, put an IP address, which is 192.168.1.120. This scan shows open ports like 21, 22, 80, etc. Each port corresponds to a service, like file transfer protocol, secure shell, telnet, HTTP or MySQL. This helps us figure out potential attack vectors. It's like checking which doors are unlocked before trying to break it. After we got the list of all open ports, I will focus on port 21 and check whether it has known vulnerabilities. I can use nmap scripts or online databases, but in this video I will show you an online search because it is easier to understand. I will quickly show you how to find vulnerabilities online. Copy the service version, paste it into the Google and there you go. In the search results, we can see that this version of FTP contains a backdoor which can allow us a shell execution and getting a shell access on someone's network, well, if you can do that, you can call yourself a new owner of that network. Now, the second step is performing the exploitation. Let's use Metasploit to execute that shell, remember, lab only. I'm going to start MSF console as root and I will use exploit unix because Metasploitable is Linux OS and Linux is Unix based, FTP VSFTPD234, which is the version of our service, and backdoor. I'm gonna set the R host to the IP of the VM and the R port to the 21 and run. And just like that, we have a shell on the server. Access granted. All legal in our lab environment. And the best part. Our digital punching bag didn't even see it coming. After exploitation, we can check our access and explore the system. If I type who am I, I can see that I have a root access. If I type print working directory, you can see that I'm in root folder. ls will print the list of all files and folders on that virtual machine. Great. Now, to prove it to you, I'm gonna use echo command to write the message and I will save it under the name info.txt and when I list the files in my VM with the command ls we can see that info.txt appeared and with the cat command you can see the message that I left in the system. Now I can destroy the whole VM with one command rm-rf but I'm not gonna do that. The best I can show you is shut down now and you can see that VM is shutting down remote. And that's it for today's penetration demo. We set up a lab, performed reconnaissance, found vulnerabilities, exploited a weakness and explored a server. This is ethical hacking done professionally, in a safe environment. Always keep it legal, always get permission and use these skills to build and defend, not to destroy. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Bye.